just make a commitment to become a spiritually devoted woman because being a spiritual girly is only going to get you so far in your journey. subscribe I upload weekly videos doing business energy readings you do not need to have a business to take advantage of these readings so get comfy grab your favorite beverage watch this video see what information lands for you if it doesn't land if it don't apply let it fly I typically record these videos on Mondays and try to get them out on Mondays but yesterday I honestly to be a hundred percent honest I did not feel like using my magic on y'all. <laughs> I was like, I want to use my magic on me today. And so I spent the whole day between meditations, reading some spiritual books. I went for a two hour walk with Rico. I sat, ooh, these crows have been talking to me, y'all. Heard you. Um, what else did I do? journaled a lot had a really amazing conversation with a friend that provided like a breakthrough and a connecting of the dots for me of like a childhood pattern that i've had that shows up in all of my relationships and like i saw it and i've seen it but the way that it's integrated now and the way that is embodied and the way that i see 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 it is next level so i needed the entire day to like sit with all of that and I just didn't feel like turning my camera on to create for you guys I wanted to create for myself yesterday and that's what I did and I don't feel bad about it okay that's my business and I'm so glad that I took care of myself in that way you guys also know that on Mondays is like my spiritual reset days so I usually tidy up my altar, water my plants, do all my little rituals. I have a lot of Monday rituals that I really, really enjoy. And if you're curious about what they are, you can check out this video right here for more information. I'm feeling very Sade-ish right now in that photo. You know what photo I'm talking about. I'm gonna put it right here. But yeah, I just sat down in front of the camera and I was like, oh my God, I feel like Sade very much that all right let's get started for this week I'm gonna be using the spirit mama's oracle deck and I'm also gonna be pulling one card for like the thing that we need to focus on whatever's gonna come up for the week from the realist oracle deck so let's go ahead and get started now I do want to remind you all that this spirit mama's deck is intended for mothers but I really enjoy this deck even though I'm not a mother yet but I'm a mother and I love the messages in this deck as well. And it's also very pretty, <laughs> very beautiful deck. So I will be pulling from this deck today. As I shuffle these cards, I want you to bring your energy back into your body. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose, out through the mouth and Sit with a question that you would like some clarity on and be open-minded to the answer and how it's gonna show up for you this week. And be open-minded to the answer. What wants to happen this week? What wants to happen this week? Right, beautiful, beautiful spread. And the first card that came up is Reclaim Your Magic. And this card is definitely self-explanatory. I mean, let's just take a moment to really bask into this image, right? We have this beautiful woman in these beautiful um, garments that obviously, I mean, the detail in the garments 
it's giving couture, it's giving intentionality, it's giving sacred garments. And she has, there's this golden cup of like sparkle and magic just being dumped on her from the ethers. And she's basking in it while also being basked in her energy, her divine femininity, her divinity, and she's soaking it all in. So this card is definitely a call and a reminder to reclaim your magic, to spend some time acknowledging how divine you are. Like, do you understand that you were made in God's image and likeness? Like, I really need you guys to sit with that. And I need you to remind yourself of that constantly. You are literally magic. Do you know all of the things that it took for you to exist in this very moment? Do you know how incredible your body is? Do you know how incredible you are because you were made in the image and likeness of God? Like, really sit with that. I don't think a lot of us really sit with that to fully grasp the miracle that we are. It's time to honor your divinity. It is a big deal and I need you to start acting like it. I need you to start acting like you're a big deal because you are. You are a big deal. You were made in the image and likeness of God. You're a big, big deal. You're an earth angel literally walking this earth. Please remember, please remember to remember. You've always had the power within you. Now is the time to take it back. Stop giving it to people, places, and things that don't deserve it. You can't pour from an empty cup and it's time to embrace the queen named you. It is time for you to honor yourself and your true essence. Your essence is your power and it's yours alone. Find a routine that makes a small fire burning within ignite and burst into the wildfire that's been ready to run wild. This week, do something that's entirely for you. Take a yoga class, go visit with friends, or even just curl up and nap. Make whatever is going to fill your cup your top priority. I love this so much. And one of the things that I actually did for myself this weekend was on Sunday, I signed up to a belly dancing class. I, when I lived in Chicago, I started taking salsa classes um, a few months before I moved and I really, really enjoyed them and I learned so much and it actually felt really good and bad to suck at something, right? Like, I think when you've been doing something for so long and you become an expert in what you do, it's so easy to always be in this energy of like, I'm really good at this, right? So even though, yes, I'm Dominican and I know the basics of salsa, I really wanted to like step it up and... You know, those lessons, oh, like, damn, I suck at this. But it made me want to be better and it made me want to show up and it made me want to put in the work. And I think we all sometimes need to be beginners. Like, there's there's so much beauty in being a beginner at something. And there's so much grace and compassion that you have to have with yourself. And being a beginner at something allows you to tap into that remembering that, like it's okay and it's it's also a beautiful way to tap into like this childlike wonder because when children are learning to walk or when they're learning to do things that they've never done before you know we we don't shame them we don't make them feel guilty we don't make them feel bad because they don't know we just praise them and we honor them and we support them and we uplift them and we remind them that they're powerful and that they can do this so when you do something that you've never done before and you become a beginner, you're giving your adult self the opportunity to talk to the inner child in you and to lift them up and to encourage them and to continue to uplift them as they do something that they've never done before. And so anyways, I took a belly dancing class on Sunday because as much as I want to get back into salsa, the good salsa studios are not close to me and it just didn't feel easeful. Um trying to make salsa classes weekly happen so i was like well i wonder if there's like belly dancing and sure enough there was a belly dancing studio like 10 minutes away from me and i um i signed up for a beginner class on sunday and i had so much fun and i was also surprised at how like 
natural I felt in the setting and I really think it's because my past lives as a gypsy and that gypsy energy that I have within me I felt very much at home the instructor was great and I'm definitely going to be taking more classes um so this is your encouragement to sign up for something new to do something that's entirely for you and you know make whatever is going to fill your cup up your top priority this week I have some incense burning behind me so if you're seeing smoke and you're like oh my god worried it's my incense burning it smells divine in here I just I just love this for me love the life that I'm creating okay the next card is grateful thankful blessed another self-explanatory card as you tap into your divinity, as you reclaim your magic, please keep in mind to stay in an energy and frequency of gratitude, of thankfulness, so that you can continue to be an open vessel for blessings, for miracles. That frequency is what keeps you available to things beyond the physical realm, that you can actually tap into and bring into your reality. And I need you to, if you do not have a gratitude practice, I need you to start creating one. It could be as simple as, for me, mine is the moment that I wake up, I say a prayer of thanks and gratitude just for being able to wake up, right? There's a lot of people that didn't wake up today. And um, in that same prayer, I usually will try to, visualize my day how i want things to play out for me i set intentions for the day and then i just continue to show gratitude for whatever else kind of pops up for me for the day another practice that you can do is if you journal every day list three things that you're grateful for before you go to bed think about three things that you're grateful for and go to sleep on that note you know Sometimes it's hard to find gratitude when your reality is so far from the life that you imagine or the things that you envision for yourself or the dreams and aspirations that you have for yourself. But I promise you there's something that you can be grateful for every single day and it can be the smallest thing like I'm so grateful for my bed. I'm so grateful for the air I breathe. I'm so grateful that I can walk. You know what I'm saying? Like when you really start to think about the things that you're grateful for, you could spend hours and hours actually going through a list of gratitude. But you just have to make time to sit in the gratefulness and the thankfulness to really honor it fully. So I need you to find time in your day, um, especially this week, and start to create this gratitude practice if you don't have one i promise you being in that energy staying in that frequency is going to make you a magnet for miracles it's gonna make you a magnet for blessings it's gonna make you a magnet for abundance in all ways take a minute and think about your life all parts of your life especially the little things you don't think about normally the things that you may take for granted all things grow and evolve in our lives when we pause and think about what we are thankful for. When we start with thanks and gratitude, it evolves into blessings that appear out of nowhere. These three words are the core of being present. Pause in this present moment and think about all of the blessings that you have. Being thankful and grateful for the things you already have tells the universe you're ready to manifest the blessings that are waiting to flow into your life. So work, recite or write these affirmations. I am grateful, I am thankful, I am blessed, abundance flows to me. And I'll go ahead and put it here so that you can screenshot it, meditate on this for the week, find gratitude in this for the week. I am grateful, I am thankful, I am blessed, abundance flows to me. All right, so the last card in that spread is the ever-changing mother. And there's so much symbolism in this card. So we have this light woman figure and then this shadow figure as well who's pregnant and has butterfly wings so you can see here this metamorphosis this transition this time of cocooning and being in the dark we often 
one of the things that I want to bring up in this moment is the fact that creation takes place in the dark, okay? And we can look at nature and we can look at the human experience that literally mirrors this, right? How were you created? You were created in the womb, in the dark for nine months. Butterflies are created in the dark in these cocoons. Everything that gets birth gets created in the dark. It gets created in a womb. So if you are going through a really hard time right now, if you are going through a cocooning phase, if you are going, if you are creating something, you're probably in the dark. There's a lot of question marks about, I don't know what's happening, but you have to trust that you are in creation mode. Beautiful things come out of darkness. And I need you guys to remember that the moon is behind them. So the moon is all about your emotions. It's your inner world. And then we have some sacred geometry behind them as well. And some beautiful rose quartz towers along with some peonies in the background as well and i don't know if you guys have ever seen um, bought peonies and seen them blossom i recently bought some a few weeks ago and i had the most magical time sitting with them daily and seeing them blossom so when you first buy them they're these tight little buds and you're almost like how how can it's, it's going to take forever for these buds to emerge. And the buds are so tiny and small. And then throughout, you know, the coming days, they start to open. They start to blossom. They start to change colors as well. And then they eventually blossom into these huge, huge flower buds. And you're mind blown because you cannot believe that that came from that tiny little tight bud that you first purchased. And so I just love that they put these flowers on here as well. And, you know, the ever-changing mother, the ever, even if you're not a mother, right? Let's remove the mother symbolism for those of us who have not birthed actual humans. You're constantly birthing yourself. You're constantly rebirthing and coming into a new version of who you are. And you have to honor the time of creation. You have to honor the energy that it takes to create the energy that it takes to birth. You have to honor those nine months. You have to honor your time in the cocoon. And a lot of us try to run away from the stillness and the slowing down and all of the darkness that comes with things that we are in the process of birthing, aka when we have to birth ourselves, right? We try to run away from the actual process. But the more that you start to embrace that this is a natural part of life, that these are natural part of nature cycles, and that this is normal, the more that you're going to find the beauty in the darkness, the more that you're going to be able to really settle into the cocooning, into the the, the womb and the growth that is required. And, and, and there's a sacredness too about the void there's a sacredness about the womb there's a sacredness about the cocoon and if you can really honor and actually have the awareness to know why this time is so crucial when you emerge as a butterfly when you give birth to that new version of yourself you are going to radiate so much splendor so much beauty so much confidence because you really fully honored that season and a lot of times we only want to be in summer we don't want to honor our winters we only want to be the butterfly we don't want to honor the cocoon and there's so much beauty i need you to honor and acknowledge the beauty in the void the beauty in the darkness it is so sacred it is a sacred it's a it, you're getting initiated into the next phase and you might miss some of the biggest gems available to you during that season because you just want to fast forward to the final result to the end product you want to fast forward and get to summer and you don't want to honor the winter 
You don't want to honor the cocoon. You don't want to honor the the this. I don't know how to explain it, but that. Life is ever flowing and no day looks like another. Through the ebbs and flows, let your life become an unfolding metamorphosis. It's time to open your heart to change, to softness, to the flexibility of bending in life, knowing that you will not break. This is your time to morph into the next version of you. Take notice of the parts of you that are open and ready for change and allow them to unfold and unravel with beauty just as you are meant to. Know that with change comes beautiful growth. Soul work. Close your eyes and place your hands over your heart. Repeat this affirmation. I am open to life's changes. I welcome the changes that are coming my way. So welcome the changes, honor them, see the sacredness in the change as well. Now I'm going to pull a card from the Realist Oracle deck. This card is really going to signify something that you need to look out for and keep in mind this week. And you see that card just popped out. So this card is referring to seek guidance. So whatever has been troubling you, whatever has been on your mind, um, whatever you've been rummaging with or whatever that word is, I need you to seek guidance. You don't have to do things alone, number one. You don't know everything and it is okay to reach out to someone who is an expert, who has experience working through whatever it is that you're going through, whatever problem it is that you need assistance with in your life or in your business, it is okay to seek guidance. It is okay to seek help and it is okay to seek support. I know a lot of us are used to doing things alone. I know a lot of us are used to having to figure shit out because we don't have another choice. And I want you to make space this week to open up other possibilities for yourself by seeking guidance. And if you're not in a position to seek guidance, I need you to seek guidance within you, right? And how do you do that? You have to start, oh, you have to ask for help, number one. And, and this seek guidance could be literally physically, go seek out a therapist, go seek out a business coach, go seek out a mentor, go seek out an elder, right? Physically, or it could be, you need to seek guidance within yourself. You need to sit with and talk to your guides. You need to ask them for help. We have free will, so they can't just come and intercede and help us with whatever we're going through. We have to literally call out to them and ask them for help. And once you ask for help, be open to the ways that it's going to show up for you. A lot of times we go to them and we ask for help and we're like, I need, right? And we give them the terms and conditions of like, this is exactly what I need. And we have to be open to, you need help. In this moment, you can't really sit here and be picky about how you want that help. You need to be open to the ways that that help is going to come to you. You will be taken care of. Everything is going to work out. But it might not look like what you thought it was going to look like. And so you need to be open to all possibilities. Because at the end of the day, do you care more about being helped? Or do you care more about the way that that help looks like and, and the form that that help comes in? You need to be less concerned about the form that that help comes in because your priority should be just, I need this help. I need to get through this. So seek guidance. Seek guidance within. Talk to your guides. Call in your angels. Call in your people. Call in your source. Call in the ancestors. I would say actually do that first. Do that first and have them give you clear instructions on what does seeking additional guidance look like. Because then they might tell you, okay, you need a therapist. Okay, you need a coach. Okay, you need this. So it says the element is earth and it says support, professional and clinical help, a therapy appointment. This card means it's a good idea to seek traditions and practices bigger than you to strengthen your ability to support yourself. You have talents, gifts, and potential that require expertise and tools beyond what you have in your toolbox right now. So for a lot of you in your spiritual journey, and I actually wrote this down in my notes, um the other day because it just came to me and it's like one of the things that I've been seeing is that 
you know what let me just pull my notes so i was actually at the gym on the treadmill and this just came to me and i, I wrote it down i definitely want to like expand on this whether it's in a podcast episode or in like a conversation in a private community or something i don't know but Everyone wants to be a spiritual girly, but no one wants to step into becoming a spiritually devoted woman. Being a spiritual girly is an identity we take on as beginners and over time we cling on to that so that we purposely remain on the outskirts of our spiritual development and avoid inviting ourselves deeper into the work. If you feel stagnant on your path, you are being called to stop snorkeling and deep dive i think it's time for a lot of you to deep dive into your spiritual past deep dive into your shadow work deep dive into your gifts and all of those things and it's okay to not know exactly how that's going to unfold but you can start today by putting that call out that you would like to shift from being a spiritual girly to becoming a spiritually devoted woman and ask your guides to show you what the next steps are for that just make a commitment to become a spiritually devoted woman because being a spiritual girly is only going to get you so far in your journey and at the beginning of this video we spoke about the wonders of being a beginner that's amazing, right? But there comes there comes a point in your journey that you stop being a beginner, right? And then you're tethering between I'm not a beginner, but I'm not fully an expert yet. And so you have to do the work then to say, I'm going to commit to this because I really care about this. This is really important to me. I see how it has impacted me and I feel amazing. And I want this to make, and I want to make this a priority in my life because it brings me joy it's time it's time to make that commitment to be more committed all right so thanks so much for watching thank you for being here i hope that you enjoyed this video and i will see you next week if you're not subscribed to my newsletter click the link in the description to subscribe i share a bunch of updates on there monthly i send out a monthly newsletter with things that i'm into sharing a little bit more bts about my life i have a really exciting announcement coming up soon if you watch my videos you you already know because y'all just be y'all be knowing um but yeah Sign up for my newsletter, girl, so that you don't miss out on what I'm working on. And then say, oh my god, I didn't know. Sign up for the newsletter. And make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, send it to somebody that you love. And introduce them to me and my work. Thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing week. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.